First, let's move on. It was The Sims, then Minecraft and Pokemon Go. Actually, if you're my age, first it was Pac-Man, but never mind. Now the latest video game craze is Fortnite. It's free, addictive, violent, and kids love it. Should you be worried? It's currently one of the most popular video games in the world, with 46 million players worldwide. Some of my friends actually can't get games like these. Why is that? Their parents just think it's not very good. Fortnite is a cartoon Hunger Games style battle with a deadly serious premise. Players are placed on an island armed with weapons. The aim of the game to be the last one standing. At the moment, it's, he, he just cannot wait to get back into his room and play Fortnite. So why are kids as young as nine playing the violent game? Parents should absolutely be paying attention to the rating system. Tonight, a warning from the experts. There are many risks involved in playing violent video games. Look, you're dead. Ryan is 11 years old. His brother Dylan is nine. Okay. They're in the middle of a game okay. of Fortnite. Dusty shoulders. It's a strategic thinking game. What he said. After the break on a current affair, the kids who can't take their eyes off their screens, their concerned parents and advice from the experts. Welcome back. Fortnite is the latest video game kids can't get enough of, but when does a bit of harmless fun turn into an unhealthy obsession? The violent video game Fortnite is designed for teenagers. What is happening? But is being widely played by younger children like Michael, who is 11. Yeah, you have to make sure no one kills you. So you have to kill others. You shoot them and then they just fall to the ground and die. Not as brutal. That's not brutal? I wouldn't say brutal. It's not so much angry, it's... He's just frustrated. Michael. Nikki is Michael's yeah. mum. Come on, we're gonna go to school. She's concerned yeah, about the impact the violent video game may have on her son. It was almost like he needed a fix, and that worries me a lot. I didn't want to play it and until other people played it, and then now I'm addicted. Oops. Just because it has those sort of colourful graphics uh, and that cartoonish style doesn't mean that it's okay for your kids. Seamus Byrne is a gaming expert. He says the game has shocked parents because of its light rating. Violent video games are usually rated MA15+. This particular game doesn't have blood effects, for example. They're happy to give it that blue M where it's a guideline rather than an actual legal uh, framework. There's no chat in this game in the way that some other things do. So when parents are worried about stranger danger type issues of, of online games, it doesn't have those kinds of chat tools as well. They can actually show higher rates of aggression themselves. Dr. Philip Tam is a child and adolescent psychiatrist who specializes in gaming. He says adolescents with conditions like ADHD, anxiety or depression are most vulnerable. Ryan, get the loot chest. Another big problem is playing to excess of their real world activities. So there's a detriment in their schooling, in their healthy sleeping pattern and in, in the general things of, of healthy family time. Around three, three to four hours on Three to four, morning. maybe sometimes two. Yeah, that's an axe, Dom Dom. Like many of their schoolmates, Ryan and Dylan could play the game for hours at a time. It's pretty much like a normal but unnormal life because other kids in my class get to play six hours and all that. Like, someday they'd be wearing glasses maybe. Their mother, Jacqueline, has strict gaming rules in place. She allows the boys to play Fortnite on the condition their homework always comes first. Gave into the peer pressure because it's, if they don't play at school, they're um, looked at as a, oh, you're not cool, that type of thing. It seems the quest for a higher score is hurting our mental health. Problems related to the excessive use of gaming will warrant a medical diagnosis when the World Health Organization adds gaming disorder to its classification of diseases later this year. Michael, I can see that you have an iPhone and this game is coming to the iPhone, isn't it? Yeah, it is. What does that mean for you? So now, if I go out, I probably will be playing it. Well, I told my mum and get him in trouble. He's there. Go. Dr. Philip Tam has some wise advice for concerned parents. 
He encourages healthy digital diet patterns for kids from a young age. So give them a warning. Uh, maybe you've got half an hour left or you've got five minutes left. So always warn your child.